Hey, who's that? The boy over there? He's a student. I think he's new. Actually, he's in my Spanish class. What's he like? How old is he? Mm, I don't know. He looks young. Well, let's go say hello. You can go say hello. I have to go to my Spanish class. See you later. See ya. Um, good morning. May I? Yeah, of course. I'm Anna, what's your name? I'm Victor. Nice to meet you, Anna. Are you a student here too? Ah, uh, yes I am. It's nice to meet you too. Are you new here? Yes, I am. Where are you from? I'm from Mexico City. Where are you studying? I'm studying English literature. And what about you? I'm studying audio engineering. How old are you? I'm 23. What about you? I'm 18. Uh, where do you live? I live right around the corner. Do you want to come? Uh, yeah, of course. Let's go. And when's your next class? Oh, it's uh, about 20 minutes from now. It's sexual Spanish class. With Ashley? Yeah, she's your friend, right? Oh, yeah. Have you girls been friends for a long time? Oh, since we were kids. Oh, that's really nice. Have you ever met someone new that you didn't know what or how to ask them something? You can use information questions with the verb be to start a conversation and get to know them. Look at these two questions. Number one, are you new here? Number two, what are you studying? These are two different types of questions, but which one can we answer by saying yes or no? That's right, the first one. But what if we want to get to know more? That's what we use information questions for. For these questions, we use specific words called WH words or question words. Who, what, where, when, how, and why. We have who. We use these questions to ask about people. So for example, who is your doctor? Then we have what, which we use to talk about objects or things. So for example, what is your sister's name? Then we have where, which we use to talk about location. Where is your school? We also have when, we use this to talk about time, days, months, years, or an actual time. So for example, what time is your next class? Then we have how, which we usually use to talk about emotions. The typical question, how are you? And lastly, we have why, which we use to talk about reasons. Why are you here? Why are you sad? Why are you happy? Let's go over the pronunciation of these words, all right? Listen and repeat after me. Who, 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 what, 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 when, 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 where, 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 how, how, how. Why, why, why? Now let's go back to the conversation and look at the grammar. What's the first question you hear? Hey, who's that? That's right, who's that? Now remember, whose is the contraction form of the two words who and is, whose. Who is? Where's? Where is? What? What is? I'm. I am. He's. He is. She's. She is. It. It is. Your. You are. Were. We are. There. They are. This is a question about people. She wants to meet this person. And what did her friend say? He is a student. This is called a statement. It's a positive statement. Now let's break this statement down into smaller pieces. He is the subject of the sentence. Then we have is, which is the verb to be. And then we have student, which is what we called the complement, the rest of the sentence. So we have subject, plus the verb to be, plus the complement. 
Now what happens when we want to ask a question? We have the statement, he's a student. So what we have to do is we have to switch the subject and the auxiliary verb to be. But this would be a yes, no question, right? If we switch, he is a student, we have, is he a student? But we are looking at information questions, which means we have to add the WH word at the beginning. We have the WH word plus the auxiliary verb to be plus the subject plus the complement plus the question mark. For the answer, we usually answer like this. Subject plus the auxiliary verb to be plus the complement. Let's look at an example. Where are you from? I am from Mexico. Now let's do a short exercise. I want you to draw this chart in your notebook or a piece of paper. Now listen to the conversation again and write down the questions you hear. Hey, who's that? A boy over there? He's a student. I think he's new. Actually, he's in a Spanish class. What's he like? How old is he? Mm, I don't know. He looks young. Well, let's go say hello. You can go say hello. I have to go to my Spanish class. See you later. See ya. Um, good morning. May I? Yeah, of course. I'm Anna. What's your name? I'm Victor. Nice to meet you, Anna. Are you a student here too? Ah, uh, yes I am. It's nice to meet you too. Are you new here? Yes, I am. Where are you from? I'm from Mexico City. Where are you studying? I'm studying English literature. And what about you? I'm studying audio engineering. How old are you? I'm 23. What about you? I'm 18. Uh, where do you live? I live right around the corner. Do you want to come? Uh, yeah, of course. Let's go. And when's your next class? Oh, it's uh, about 20 minutes from now. It's sexual Spanish class. With Ashley? Yeah, she's your friend, right? Oh, yeah. Have you girls been friends for a long time? Oh, since we were kids. Oh, that's really nice. Here are some other questions you can use when you meet someone. What's your name? How old are you? What's the weather like? Where do you go to school? When do you go to school? When's lunchtime? Now you're ready to go and meet new people. Come on, let's go meet someone. <laughs>